wait, wait. You're telling me this album was recorded, mixed, and released in only 39 days? How could it possibly be any good? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time checking it out. My name is Micah, and this is Noise is the Sound. Today, I'm happy to be discussing the brand new album by Charlie XCX. It's titled, How I'm Feeling Now. Let's begin by discussing the musicality of the album. Now, for this record, Charlie ended up working with several different producers and DJs, so the tracks have kind of a range of sound to them. But I think it's safe to say you're getting both sides of the spectrum here. You're getting balls to the wall club bangers, and you're also getting soft EDM pop anthems. So there's a little bit of everything on this new album from Charlie XCX. When listening through this album, I think that the vocal layering and modulations remind me of a lot of the early Imogen Heap work, uh, which isn't a bad thing. I think it just kind of turned out that way. I don't think that was the original intention. But again, it's definitely not a bad thing. I'm a huge Imogen Heap fan, but overall, I think it's really cool. I think the vocals sound really great on this album. There are very appropriate uses of auto-tune. We all know that Charlie XCX has a great, powerful voice, but she also is very keen on knowing when to bring in technology and when to bring in that auto-tune to give the song more flair and more flavor. That's something that she's really great at, and she doesn't shy away from it on this new album. Now, you can't review a Charlie XCX album without talking about the hooks. Uh, the hooks on How I'm Feeling Now are infectiously catchy and very sharp. Uh, I, I mean, you're going through a song and you've listened to it for 30 or 40 seconds and you already feel like you know the song. And that is not an easy feat to achieve for any artist. Next, let's move on to the lyrical themes that occur on How I'm Feeling Now by Charlie XCX. This album was a snapshot portrait of the relationship that Charlie XCX and her boyfriend are currently involved in. Um, she wrote this album entirely while in quarantine and her boyfriend uh, moved from New York to Los Angeles to quarantine with her at the start of all this pandemic craziness. So this album is very honest and emotional for Charlie XCX, and the themes on this record are entirely reflective of that, of the state of their relationship, of her feelings now that her boyfriend, the person that she loves, is close by. And each of these tracks, with the exception of a few of them, really explore that relationship. She approaches the lyric writing on this album with a profound sense of realism. Their romance is captured in these snapshots as you go from song to song. The feelings of that honeymoon phase. The feelings of, am I good enough? Can I sustain this relationship? There's lyrics on the record like, I don't even trust myself, how can you love me? That's a very deep and honest lyric. So I think that Charlie really lets us in and lets us see that on this album. Another track that really stood out to me on How I'm Feeling Now was the track C 2.0. Now, some of you are probably very familiar uh, with the song as it came on, as this is a sequel track to the song Click on Charlie's self-titled album that came out, I believe, just like a year ago. But in this version, she switches up some of the dynamics of the song, and lyrically, it approaches uh, her friends or her clique as people that she's missing very deeply in this quarantine process. I think that this song might contain one of Charlie's strongest verses on the record. You really get that Charlie XCX swagger that she's so famous for. She is dropping bars, she <laughs> honest bars about how she's missing her friends. The verse just has a really great flow to it, and the beginning of the track uses a lot of like editing and like the vocals cut up and then it's repeated to make kind of a chordal sound. And so when you're listening through, you're not sure where the track's gonna go. 
um, if it's going to go entirely experimental, if it's not even going to have a verse, um, if it's just going to have this, this hook over and over. But in the second half, she jumps onto the track and lets you know that she's here and lets you know she has something to say. So, let's get back to our original question that we proposed at the beginning of the video. Can an album that was made in less than 40 days be any good? Yes, yes it can. This album is very good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's one of my favorite releases from Charlie XCX. And um, I don't know, it, it was kind of like a ray of sunshine in this really, really hard quarantine process. Uh, it's a great collection of pop tracks that has Charlie's signature stamp on it. And uh, I encourage you guys to check it out if you haven't heard it yet. I think you're really gonna enjoy it, even if pop music really isn't your thing. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out my review of the new Charlie XCX album, How I'm Feeling Now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on it and tap that subscribe key as well. And we'll see you next time on Noise is the Sound for more videos, reviews, and more fun. Thanks again for joining me. Peace.